Alright, let's well, hit the switch, no fear. <gasps> okay. What's up guys, my name is Chris Kane, and welcome to Let's Play the Demo of Capgras. Uh, don't know if that's English. I'm pretty sure it's not, but uh, this looked like a very interesting RPG Maker horror game. It's a demo. Uh, there are two demos, actually. I don't know if yet if I'm going to play the second one. Uh, but we're going to check this out. This person was inspired by a lot of uh, popular RPG Maker horror games, and we're going to give this a shot. Already, I'm not having a good time with the fact that this game refuses to be in windowed mode. It must be full screened, and it's. we'll see how this looks. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. I will help you. I will try my best to make you feel better. I know that you have been through a lot, but I'm your daughter, and I'm going to fix it, because I love you. Just wait for me, Daddy. Okay. Wow, the art. Okay. Finally, I'm here. Seems like Daddy is trapped in this place. Wait, how'd you get in here? <laughs> See, this is what I love about these games. Like, they just throw you in a position. It's like, how did I get here? Oh, I never get us old. Never stop. Daddy, I, I came here to protect you, but now I'm scared. Some random stuff. Alright, so, so far this game looks good. I, I just didn't like how this game refuses to be uh, uh, in windowed mode. Uh, but yeah, we're going to check this out. Uh, this game looked really impressive. Last time... Oh, a flower pot is our save. Okay. Whoa! That's nuts. But yeah, uh, I, I've been trying to find interesting RPG Maker Horror games. From now on, for my sanity, I'm not just going to try games out and hope that they're good. I want them to impress me by the page to let me to download it. Because it, it gets kind of tiring. And I, I, you know, I've been playing a lot of uh, games that I really want to Let's Play. But I still want to give uh, these developers a chance to show off really cool stuff and try it out. For those who are banished this dimension, don't let yourself be consumed by your mind. They know what you're thinking. I know a way out. A small chance to survive and get out of this place without completing a round. But if I tell you, they will know. Well, I can say that in order to live, you have to follow the rule of this world. Don't mess around with them. Don't mess around with them? What is that? What the hell is that? What? It's a giant cube? I am really, really interested, because this... I mean, so this person's inspired by games like, you know, Misao, Ib, Corpse Party, I believe. This reminds me a lot of Corpse Party. There's a switch here, but I can't see it. And it powers off. There's an... There's an arrow. But are you trying to trick me? I don't quite get... <laughs> I'm having fun already, because this is... I, I like I like games that have a weird situation. Okay, so that's a hole in the floor. There's some black goop on the floor. Your way out. I don't trust... <gasps> what is that? What? I don't trust you. I'm sorry, hold on. I, I I just saved. Don't wake him up. Yeah, let's not mess with it. Wait, is that a... Oh, I thought that was an item on top of that. This game is so weird because they... I can't tell... I can't really tell what these markings on the floor mean. Am I being led on? Am I about to be bamboozled? I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, these things are red eyes. I have no clue what they are, but uh, I think our dad is long gone. I pressed a button. 
So the power's on? Or no, we turned it off. What is that? Is that a creature? Hold on, I'm gonna explore a little bit. I'm actually kind of nervous. <laughs> I, the telephone will not work. 100%. I'm actually kind of uh, nervous because I don't know what the hell's going on. And again, this is a demo and this is a like the first version and there's a second version. So I don't know if I'm going to do it in the same video or do a separate video of it. It depends on how this goes. A safe. Oh, classic. Oh. Oh, it scared me. I'm gonna go back to that door, because I think that's what I was supposed to do. I don't trust these guys, although... Who, who am I supposed to trust, though? I feel like I can't trust anybody. Wait, so... I can't walk on this. How am I supposed to... I'm gonna flip the switch. <laughs> oh. That button raises the floor. I have that in my house. I hope this is progress. This game's dark, but it's not too dark. Do not touch. I, uh... Wish... Is there a potted plant nearby? That's how I can save. I would love to save right now if I could. Here we go. Very interesting that a weird looking flower would be our save point. I've not seen that before. But uh, don't touch. <laughs> I had to know. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say, when I was trying to record this game, this game might look zoomed in, because it is. <gasps> no! Oh. You don't recognize? Okay, I thought that was going to be your dad. Oh, you kidding me. Where are you going, little girl? You're alive? Oh, God. Does it matter? Nothing makes any sense in this place, you know? Who are you? You don't need to know me. I'm just a lonely guy who has been hanging here for quite a long time. So you were brought here in a shithole like this. I'm looking for my daddy. Do you know where he is? You poor little girl. How should I know? So many people have come and gone, and I can't remember a single one of them. You are too young, baby girl. Why did you come here? My dad... There's something wrong with my dad, and he suddenly disappeared. I think he must be going somewhere not too far away. And this place is the only thing I could think of. So I ended up being here. You looked for him without any hesitation. You do know what this place is, right? No? What's wrong? I'm sorry, you did nothing wrong, sweetheart. It's just... If something is wrong and your beloved one is gone, don't look for him. You're gonna get yourself in trouble. Especially when someone you love is trapped in a shithole like this. Can you help me find my dad? Sweetheart, I am so sorry. Just look at me. How can I help you? What can I do? Listen, this place doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to anybody. The reason why this place exists is to keep those who live in this world away from the outside. But somehow people from the outside can come here and never return. The people. They are very, very ugly. May the many and the many have gone. Sorry, many have come and many have gone. Not sure if they survived or not. What do you mean? I don't know who your daddy is, little girl. But I do know a way out. But I can't say anything too specific since it's against the rule. There is a train behind the main door. A train that cannot be stopped. You 
get on that train, you can go everywhere you want. Nothing can stop that train. But before that, you need to finish this round. That's the rule. Why? <laughs> Why are you helping me? Why? Probably because you're the first person I can finally talk to in a very, very long time. Everyone's scared of a talking corpse. Scares of a talking corpse. But no one likes a talking corpse. People hate a talking corpse. This place is easily min uh, manipulate people into a puppet of their mind they're not strong enough. And after that, they will never have a chance to leave this place. And you still listen to what I say? This is a miracle. Say, so you know who doesn't like talking corpses? You two. But we'll see. I have to go now. Can I go through this door? Yes, I can. Um. <clears throat> keep moving. I don't trust this. Like, you're making me not want to go keep moving. <sighs> Shit. There's a switch. I'ma hit the switch. What it? I don't know where that's at. But that's that's what this kind of game is, huh? It's one of those games where you have to hit a switch and open things that you had no clue where they were. Alright, well, we already touched that. That's nothing. Oh! Wait. I don't even know where that was. I don't remember seeing it, but I think we are making some progress, I think. Ugh, you're way out. Um, we still need to open this. I don't know if those guys are friendly. Probably not. Wait, is this a new way? Oh, this is... Okay. It's ready to use. Okay. <laughs> Who's screaming? Uh, if something is not right. Oh, I can't read that. Turn around. What's this book say? Don't make that cube stop. This game's so cryptic. I'm gonna hit the button. Uh... This game's so weird. I'm... Oh my god, I'm so nervous. My hands are actually sweaty. Okay, that's... I should read that book. The key to leave this place is inside the cube. All right, I've, yep. <laughs> Watch it be a huge swerve. It's like, actually, you were supposed to uh, step on those cubes, but obviously not. Ooh, I'm going to hit the switch. Blip, blip. Yeah, I was going to say, please move out of the way. We still haven't gotten a code, which I hope that's not required. Although you'd think it would be. Um, okay, I'm gonna save. Because I don't trust that shit. Sorry, I don't. But yeah, so, so this game is actually really cool. Nothing, uh, so far... <laughs> the door. Well, we worked really hard to get it. So far, I haven't...
I thought this bunny was gonna be like the huge or, or like the uh the main like villain. <laughs> What about you? Where have you been this whole time? Imagine it being so shit that your toy just walks off goes and leaves. I didn't go anywhere. You've just been here? Ever since I came to your house, trouble started uh, to happen a lot with your family. When things got too far, I disappeared. The truth is, I've always been here. I just never left. Nothing can separate me from this prison. I'm glad you made it. You found me. <laughs> Alright. If I found my daddy and get out of here, will you meet me again? I don't know. I hope so. In the end, you still haven't forgot about me. I'm very happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That was an interesting... That was actually really cool. Uh... Now I need to find my way around where that cassette was. Actually, it's probably over here. <laughs> that was an interesting transition. Yeah, this game is very, like, much like Silent Hill, like, transitions, I feel. Alright, here's the cassette player, right? Or no. Again have no idea what's going on. I probably never will. What is happening? I'm stuck. Okay, I actually can't hit that switch anymore. So I have to go this way. And... Those guys left? I think. I feel like the area changed. Okay, here we go. It's gonna happen. Wait, what's hap- <gasps> Uh-oh. Wait. Something woke up. I think that thing woke up. I'm scared now. <gasps> oh, oh, God. I'm scared. I want to run. We can't run. Um... Yeah, let's just stay away from that, unless... Wait a minute. What exactly happened? Did it bust open? No. Okay. I was really worried that that's what was happening. Oh, wait! 1986. Wait a minute. That's probably the code for some reason. Oh, never mind. Uh, I actually want to save first. <laughs> Your way out. I don't know what's going on. I'm scared. Please plant. <laughs> save my life, please. 
The music's changed and I'm scared. I actually don't know where to go next. But I'm going to assume that maybe we can go through that door? Uh, Alright, let's try it. Oh, I need a key. Are you sure it's not 1986? Huh. I didn't misread that. Come up. Yeah, what is this? Oh, wait, 1832. 18H32? What was the H for? Uh, let's try it. Uh, 1832? I have two CDs. Great. What's that do? I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with these. Wait. Oh, something broke through this door, I think. Interesting. Oh yeah, we're back to the cube. I have no idea what the cube is for. But it's bad, apparently. Very bad. Oh, I already read this. Stay away. Can I leave? I could save. But yeah, I have these CDs and I have no clue what they're for. Not really clear. Very random that they would just throw that in there. Um, I don't think anything's in here, actually. It'd be kind of surprising Something in the very beginning was important. Uh, but yeah, I think something might be here. Something dangerous. Oh, here we go. But I have two CDs. What does that do? Oh, it's to stop the cube. <laughs> Did I use both? No. Huh? I don't know the purpose of it, but I'm going to continue to mess with it. Huh. Is there another... I, uh... Okay... The cube. I I don't know the purpose of it either. We we can relate on this level. No, but how you alright, so I used one CD, I slowed it down, but I guess I have to find another machine to put a CD in. Oh, that's not good. Found a way to break the game. Cause they don't have this part closed off. <laughs> Oh, can I get back in? Oh, great. Uh... It's gotta be something. No, I, I'm back here. I was here before. I need to find another disc machine. Well, I was gonna say, this game actually had a lot of promise, I think. Uh, if this is... I think on the store page, the creator said this is like their second game that they've made and they're still working on it. Uh, what I'll say is that I, I'm pretty impressed so far. I've liked, I really like it. I think it can actually be a fun horror scenario adventure type of thing. The only thing is now I'm at that part where I, that you don't want the, your players and that you're just wandering around Back to the same areas over and over and over just to figure out what you're supposed to do. Now, this is only a demo, 
And you do have a second version, which I'm actually pretty curious for. Yeah, there's a hole in the ground, but there's no... Like, nothing happens. Like, why is there a phone? Why is there a hole in the floor? Why are there these... Why is there that boarded up room that you can't interact with? You have these closets that you can't interact with. There's just... There's all this build-up for this story around a cube, which is actually pretty mysterious, but now I'm starting to lose interest. <laughs> because now I can't figure out what to do next, and I'm just wandering around, and this part isn't fun. So with that said, I think I am just going to end the video here. But uh, I'm going to take a look at version 2. I I'm going to be kind of disappointed if it's just this, but better, because that didn't that, that wasn't clear. If, uh, if that's the case. At least not to me. But, uh, hey look guys, we did it. <laughs> we escaped the nightmare. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Chris Kane, and if you missed the first video I did on a game called Cap Grass, uh, this is the second version, which, uh, I forgot. It's a separate demo, but it involves a side story with a different character so we're gonna jump into this because uh, I do want to give it a shot but uh, yeah the first demo needs some work <laughs> this is very dangerous you know that that game it could turn you into a monster what I'm going to do anything to save them no matter what the costs what it costs you got it I trust you just to be clear, it's not my decision. Who's talking? So as I understood from the previous demo... Yeah, here we go. So this is all I saw. Because so I was like, oh, okay, it is different. Because I was afraid this was just a better version of the demo I played. Uh, which didn't didn't say that on the store. So I'm, I'm, luckily, I'm lucky that it actually is different. Now, who is this? Elena? Okay, so we're in the... How did you get to the Nightmare World? You're here to rescue Helena. And then there's the... There's the plant. I mean... I might just put this in with the uh, other video, actually. An empty space is probably missing something. I mean, I guess. Or it could just be an empty space. This is a nightmare. Liar! Who's the liar? <sighs> Locked doors. Seem very confident for a young boy to go after your friend like this. Very brave. I'm sorry. Oh, this is Resident Evil now. Go up, go up the ladder. You meant? Uh, if someone found this, I am underneath you. Find me. I have your answer. <laughs> what? This is an awful map. A kid drew it. Okay, there's an arrow pointing here. Path is missing. Oh, man. I like it, though. I, I, I like where this developer is going with these stories. But, like I said, there's a lot of it's very cryptic. Alright, hit the switch. No fear. <gasps> okay. Well, that was all for naught. <laughs> I'm really tempted to end the video there, because that's crazy. <laughs> uh, where am I? Wait, is this different? Wait, no, it's locked. I need a special card to open. That was literally just Resident Evil. Is this di- wait, is this different? Am I tripping? No, I was here before. <laughs> hmm. 
I don't know if that's a good thing that we had a very unfair death. Looks like a clock tower. It actually just like a big clock on the wall, actually. Just saying. Okay, so whatever you guys do, if you ever decide to download this game and play it yourself, because this actually looks really fun that you guys are looking for a game to play. Uh, I won't go... T I I'm pretty sure I'm not going to play too far into this. I'm just going to stitch this with the other video I did. Wasn't sure what to expect. But yeah, this is like... You have to... <laughs> Obtained a ladder. It's that simple. But yeah, we, we definitely are on a in a clock tower. An elevator. It's not working, though. Okay, so there's a path that needs a ladder. And there's all this weird... Uh, I, I like how there's just, like, weird sounds just happening all of a sudden. Like, it definitely adds to the atmosphere. Wow. That was awesome. You're so brave. Oh, I need another ladder. Can I take the other ladder with me? Probably. <sighs> okay. I like this. Oh, thank God. You could just take that. You have a ladder. Wait, am I supposed to... Okay, never mind. Wow, this game got jump scares. What's this? A fridge. Or a closet. It's connected with a chain behind its back. Am I supposed to... I'm gonna need an axe, maybe? Although, but why would I want... What? A car. Uh, wait, what? What's happening? I don't know what's happened either. Oh boy, I have one coin. One of three coins. Wait, what? <laughs> sure. What? What did that do? I wish I could ride this car. Okay, that didn't do anything. Or it... Oh. Oh, it moved... Oh. That makes sense, right? Can I take the ladder back? Yes, I can. Oh, so weird. To use a ladder like this over and over? I'm taking this with me. Um, I've already lost track of where I am and where all these doors are supposed to be. Why? Okay, I'm not sure if I used the key. I guess I did. No, I still have a key. I haven't been in here before. Wait, no, I have. It's very easy for me to just get lost because I have no clue where I am going. I guess we'll go downstairs. Sure, why not? kind of a closet needs three coins it's like if you're in, like you had to change your clothes but your closet required you to put three quarters in like a damn gumball machine all right what do we got oh my god what if, what's the gimmick here I'm scared. What is is it just mannequins? No, one of them has to be alive. What 
kind of a... What's the point of this creepy-ass room? <laughs> okay. This is very interesting. I have obtained a gear. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually... I'm going to need a wrench. Yeah, I'm going to need a bunch of stuff. Okay, so I took a look at the first demo, and I took a look at this. I highly encourage you to do the developer uh, a service and download these and play them yourself. Now, I want to get too far, because this actually looks like a lot of fun. This game actually kind of uh, has a lot of good atmosphere. This is the first demo. I just was wandering around so much that I just wanted to move on to the next one. I'm, I'm just being honest. Plus, it's just a demo. Um, but so far, I like what I see. It's just, I just, you know, you just need to make the story go along. And yeah, you have puzzles, but, you know, don't put a puzzle solution all the way at the end of the world just for you to have to walk all the way back just to solve something. Just saying. I mean, you want your, you want your uh, customers to have fun, you know? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek at, uh, what's it called? A word I can't remember. <laughs> Cause, uh, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are having a good day, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.